Most everyone knows the moon is in constant rotation, but what you may not know are the names of each one of the phases. Storm Team 10's Chris Piper takes us to outer space to explain each of the phases. We just had a supermoon here in the Wabash Valley. While that's not something we see all the time, the moon looks different almost every day. That's because of the different phases the moon goes through. Now, the first thing to note is the difference between waxing and waning. An easy way to tell the difference, a waxing moon is lit up on the right side, and a waning moon is lit up on the left side. The first and easiest phase to remember is a full moon. This is when the moon is the brightest and fullest. Next is the waning gibbous phase. This is when the moon just barely starts to darken. After that is the third quarter. This is when the moon is half and half with illumination on the left half. Then we get the waning crescent. The moon has started to reflect less light at this point, only illuminating a small sliver at night. After that is the new moon. This one is almost impossible to see because to us the moon is reflecting no light. Then in the second half we bring in the term waxing. The first stage is a waxing crescent. Again, a small sliver is illuminated, but this time on the right side. Next is the first quarter. Half of the moon is lit up, but again, it's on the right. Then the waxing gibbous stage comes next, and it's the last stage before we bring it full circle. Then we're back to the beginning with a full illuminated moon. This year we have one more supermoon in 2019. The moon will come on March 20th around 9.45 Eastern Time. It won't be quite as big as the super snow moon in February, but it will still be a sight to see. Back to you. Nice.